Oh, hey, we get the music. Wow, really? I think maybe you spend a little too much time uh, on chat. Maybe get out a little bit more. Don't get me wrong, I know it's fun and all, but... Sometimes sustenance comes before that. So, looks like you were successful. No, don't thank me, I didn't do a thing. I just gave you a place to begin. If you really want to thank me, make me a member of your team. Ha 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 ha, and anyway... By the way, the Wings of Time has come looking for you. It seems to have a heart of mind of its own. It's a machine. All right. Observation. Technically, I am a machine master. But of course, I do not have a heart, mind, and soul. For that is the thing squishies have. You are a squishy, right, master? <laughs> Your wish to fight levels, correct? Many paths lay open to you. You may use the bucket or fly the wings of time to the day of Lavos. Or there's the black omen which floats the sky above the world. Lavos is somehow connected with it. It's up to you to decide when and where you fight Lavos. By now you must realize you are the only ones who stand a chance against him. However, you will not be alone. I've had vague glimpses of events, people and places you will who will empower you. In the Middle Ages, a woman's sheer determination brings a force back to life. A fugitive in the Middle Ages, Ozzy maintains an evil hideout. There's a task to be done in the future, where machinery originated. And there's a very special stone that can shine its light on each generation, from the distant past to the far future. There's the ghost of Lofty Knight, slain by Drizzt in the Middle Ages, who haunts the present. There's an object in the Middle Ages that sparkles like a rainbow. One of you is close to someone who needs help. Find this person fast. Just as you touch the lives of every life form you meet, so too will their energy strengthen you. Fail to live up to your potential, and you will never win. I am sorry that I must simply witness the coming spectacle from my vantage point here. Eh, nice little summation. Yes, Magus is, Magus is here. Being all cool and whatnot, standing alone from the rest of the group. The Vegeta of our team. Yeah. Uh... I don't know, I'm trying to remember the last time you were in, joined in. I think you missed the Ocean Palace. But there was all that and, uh, you know, our hero dying and we had to go resurrect him and whatnot. Fun times. But now it's off we go for the things we must do. Alright, so... We got places to go, we got things to do. Before we actually go and face the bad guy, Lavos, we've got some places to visit. Uh, the uh, 65 mil million BC is pretty much all wrapped up. There's nothing else to do there. Uh, same with the Dark Ages. Oh, there, actually, there is something we're gonna need to go here for, but we don't have what we need just yet. Uh, Middle Ages has a few things going on. Um, not two or three different quests right off the top of my head that I can think of. Uh, 1000 AD has about... Eh, has a couple, I think. Uh, no, not yet. And 2300 has a couple of things to do. Since the introduction of Lavos. Yeah, so that was all of... So you missed all of uh, 12,000 BC the Zeal Empire, and then the Ocean Palace. All that fun stuff. So yeah, you missed some of the cool parts of the game, unfortunately. But there's still plenty enough cool stuff to go around in this game. So it's not all lost. But I think we're going to start in the future. Strange concept, but... Let's do it. But I may have to do something. Uh, I'm trying to think. I guess I swear there's at least one of those chests that I haven't opened yet. 
And I know, I just know, it contains uh, fire armor. And I'd kind of like to get that first. <laughs> you never played Corner Trigger before? Ah, uh, you, you missed out. This, is, this game is a treat, I tell you what. Uh, okay, so, actually, I'm probably going to need to change my team here. Why don't we land first? That, that, can I land? There we go. Buttons are a bit unresponsive today for some reason. Okay, so, let's see here. This doesn't give me all the stats I need. I need to check something. Okay, so... Who's got the highest magic defense? Jesse. But I also need attack power, so... <laughs> so these two... Uh... So I need to see what kind of gear I have. Cuts fire by 50%. That's going to be important. Uh, uh, and I don't have red mail, which is really, really annoying. How many of these do I have is the question. Uh, is it? There it is. Uh, I have two. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I did that in anticipation I was going to get the red, red mail real fast, but that has yet to happen. And then there's the fire guard up. I think that's going to determine what, what I end up doing here. Hmm. Actually, I thought Final Fantasy III was pretty good. I enjoyed that one. I liked it. <laughs> well, it's not so much a matter of voting for uh, the specific items, it's a matter of need. And we are in need of specific items here. Alright, so you're going to take Ruby. We don't need magic scarves. What we do need are... Do we have a, a wall ring? That'll help. Oh, that's what I should have been looking at. Bits. It's about what I thought. So he is going to get. Let's boost up his power. Power ring? A power scarf, but let's see if there's a ring. Yes. Yeah, we'll just give you that for now. Get the power ring. Magic ring. Probably pointless, but um, instead let's give you a uh, gold stud. And then you're going to need your Taban vest as well. Alright, I think that's how it's going to work. Yeah, so what's going to happen here is I'm going to need specific gear for this specific encounter. Now if, I ha now, if I have this down right, I remember there's a specific trick uh, to, to do this. And we're going to see if, that ch if my memory is good enough. So here we are at the Sun Palace. A place kind of lost to time up until now here into the 2300s. God, I just love that sound. Uh, we're gonna have Tasha cast Fire 2. But wait! Immediately you might look and think, this creature is probably, yep. 
Precisely. Okay, that's pretty bad. That's worse than I thought. Maybe I should have brought in a healer. So far, not. So, if I'm right, it's you! Oh, that's right, I forgot. Power rings are pointless. It's a specific damage type. Oh, yeah. Tasha's gonna go down. I need the heals. Yeah, I might draw... I might... Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna... I might not be ready for this fight. <laughs> uh, items. Let's revive. Let's, uh... That piece. Okay. So the general trick I came up with is to... Yeah. Yeah, the general trick I came up with in this is to simply... Dude, he can just bust that out all day long. Holy crap. Uh, is to cast... Uh... It doesn't, actually doesn't have to be fire, to be honest. I could probably cast anything I'd like. But the idea is, the, there's, the way this boss works is he has a specific weakness. And it's one of those five flames that's around him. Now the problem is, you don't really know which one it's going to be until you actually start uh, hitting them. If you hit it and it does a miss counterattack. Now, unfortunately, while I was talking, I was not paying attention. Oh, come on, buddy. And uh, down goes. Oh, my God. This is not going out very well. I think it's this one. Yep, that's it. So the idea is that... Yeah. Every time you hit that specific flame, it damages uh, the guy in the middle. That's your main focus. You have to hit him, though. If you try to hit him by any other means, it's not going to work. He won't take the damage. And he'll more than likely counterattack with something. So yeah, oh, come on. Is this physical? Uh, okay. So I'm gonna have to pick something else here. I'm running out of these. So, um, no, wrong guy. See, their placement is throwing me off. I'm thinking wherever the, the menu is, that's where they're supposed to be. <laughs> but obviously that's not the case. So essentially what I'm doing here, this is probably the more difficult way to do it. Or at least the more dangerous way to do it. Because I effectively incur counterattacks from every single one of these enemies by doing this. But it allows me to immediately indicate which one uh, is uh, the flame that's the weakness. Because he will not counterattack when hit. Actually, you know what? I know what I'm doing wrong now. And he roulette shuffles again. Yeah, I, I just realized I kind of screwed this up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with it. I don't think I'm gonna survive. But we'll keep, we'll keep it going here. We'll see what happens. Just for funsies. I wonder, did I even equip him with the mail? I don't think I did. But let's try something. I think ice is the only thing that's actually going to hurt any of these enemies. Nope. That's the simple answer. So the other way to do this is to simply just try to attack everybody. attack each of those flames individually. And 
I wasn't paying attention again, so I forgot which one it was. I'm gonna guess the back. I'm probably wrong. Nope, that was correct. So, that piece. Well, fortunately, you don't have to. it doesn't take too many hits to finish this guy off, and each time it hits, the damage is pretty much the same. It looks like I'm, I can only get about two hits in at a time. Uh, so we'll do another one of these. We'll follow up with this. I was hoping I'd be able to get it off before he actually got a turn, but apparently he is not going to do it. Probably not going to get another chance. He'll rule that again, but I got to keep the party healed. Yep. Not surprised. Um, I think he can tank this stuff, so let's have him do it. <laughs> yeah, this would be easier if I actually had, say, uh, fire armor and a fire vest. I almost guarantee that I'd be uh, absorbing a lot more damage. All right, um, I missed it again, I'm guessing here. Probably wrong. Nope! Okay, it's one of the... I think I know which one it is. That's assuming I'm actually going to get a turn. I might have to cut. I might have to just skip this one entirely and uh, come back to it. Oh, jeez. Oh, and down goes Tasha. Great. At this point, I kind of just want to go for it. God, he's just. Yeah, this is not happening. I've used up so many of these. Uh, and then bust out Flare, of course. What a surprise. The real problem is he's getting multiple turns. Like, that's two turns for him, right outright. It's not even fair. <laughs> Crap, I think I did it too early. Nope. Ah, uh, you dirtbag. That's fine, I didn't even get a turn. I didn't even have a chance to attack you, so screw you, buddy. Ugh. I think I picked the wrong character on this one. So it's um, automatically this one. Hang in there, Tasha. Ah, oh, come on. Let it be one more, please. Nope. And down she goes. I'm wasting so much, so many resources on this asshole. Oh, now it's starting to die. Awesome. Now you tell me. God damn. Nope, that's it. Okay, just outright ends. Whew. Okay, that went longer than it probably needed to. 
I'm a little bit rusty on this. It's been a while. Yeah, more or less. It's a war of attrition. I th I've done much better in the past. I think I had a better game plan going in. I was better equipped, better prepared. I don't think it's usually a smart idea to come into this one so soon. So usually, there are other places you can go that are probably a bit easier to tackle. Uh, all right. Actually, before we do that, let's uh, heal up. Got a shelter. That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> Well, technically, it's actually a sunstone, but it starts off as a mo as a, a moonstone. It, it's something weird. It had to do. It has to do with time. I think there's some, there's lore about it, but uh, I can't remember for the life of me what that lore actually is. Uh, yes, there we go. So now, let's uh, jump right to 6,500? 6, 65 million. I know my numbers. <laughs> All right, and then we are going up, up, up. You are somewhere, there you are. The Sun Keep. It's never dark in here. Leave the Moonstone? Yes. Well, back to the TARDIS. Wee. Offensive, you say? My, my. Oh, now, the sun and the moon might be opposites, but they need each other. Okay, uh, so... I can try to just com flat out complete this quest now, which I might as well. Some good stuff comes of it. I got to name it? What, the stone? No, uh, I got to name the uh, machine we're flying around in here. Calling it the TARDIS. You know, because of time travel and whatnot. We get to name everybody in this, ev a lot of things in this game. Alright. So, actually, before... No, 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 that's right. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Yeah. So there's... Basically, you get to name two things, essentially. Um, and that's the characters that become members of your party. And... You get to name your... Uh... Time ship, yeah. Your time machine. It actually doesn't st starts off not having wings. That happens a little bit later where uh, one of the villains you encounter gives it wings and suddenly it can fly now, which is very, very, a very big deal. I'll let you get around. <laughs> All right. So now, back into the Sun's Keep at 2300 AD, and it should be... Wait, what? It's gone! The Moonstone is gone! It looks like it's been gone for ages. Let's try another time period. So effectively, you do kind of get some information at one point that uh, when you get the Moonstone uh, from the Sun Palace at this time, you're told to place it into uh, the Sun Keep in 65 million BC, or at least not exactly that. It's kind of vague what they tell you, but you're pretty much figure it out uh, that that's where you put it. And then you're supposed to come back, you know, millions of years later to, oh yeah, to uh, 2300 AD, which it won't let me because I'm already here. Um, and then it looks like it's gone. Somebody took it. You can spend your time basically going to each and every time, but I'll basically tell you without having to you having to wrap your head around it too much that you have to come back 
Oh, wait, what? Really? Huh. Yeah. You see the little shiny, it's little sparklies over here. Hmm, that must be something we must investigate. Let's check it out. The Mayor's Manor? Moonstone? Never heard of it. Daddy loves money more than he loves me. The person I hate the most? My dad, of course. The children are slipping away from us. It's so sad. Everyone says Daddy's greedy. They're lying, right? So, you suspect something's go something's not right here. Yeah, real nice guy. He's the coolest ever. So now... <laughs> no, I don't think he's that bad. But this part of this part of the quest is actually a little vague. I got the best jerky in town, but I'm saving it. Might let it go for say 9900G. How about it? Sure. You must really be hungry. Here you go. So you buy this guy's jerky. So saying what what the hell does this have to do with getting that stone? Well, simple. That guy, the mayor there, is, as we've come to see, is greedy. Very, very greedy. Shh! Emmy, spoilers! I'm not supposed to know that yet. Anyway. Uh, so you get this beef jerky, and this guy, that guy's clearly just greedy as all hell. A selfish bastard. Even to go as far as supposedly stealing the moonstone. So how do you fix that? Generations. Generations upon generations of teaching your kids the proper ethics of sharing and honesty. I see you have some jerky. Will you sell it for 10,000 G? Yes! But wait a minute. So we get like a 100 G investment back. Hardly seems worth it. So instead, I'll give it to you. You're giving it away? I thought there were no kind people left in this world. You can bet my children are going to learn the value of sharing. And she's she's so ecstatic, she was in a pose for quite some time. Didn't I say I never played this game? I never said that! I played this game for years, kind sir. This is at least somewhere in the teens, maybe in the twenties, of number of times I've played this game. I'm very familiar. Oh, you might be talking to uh, uh, Kanari. Kanari. Apologies. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I might have gotten a little sidetracked there, thinking you were referring to me, but no, anyway. So we walk in. And supposedly we may have changed this guy's heart. Have we? You're interested in the Moonstone. Well, simply, simply left it here. Gee, I wonder who. Seems important to you folks. Why don't you take it? And we got it back. Share and share alike. Help the needy. Thinking about making that town, that the town motto. I love my daddy. Eh, just a complete 180 on the kids. The person I like most? My dad, of course. But how about the wife? I wish my husband were a little less generous. Oh, never pleased. Actually, I do want to check one thing. What is the little girl thing? Everyone thinks Dad's generous. Does that mean you think he's cool? Who knows? <laughs> that girl sounds on top of things. So now we got the Moonstone again. And since it was taken from us in this time... Now well, let's uh, head back this way. 
Might be a shorter trip. Uh, Aperius! Haha. <laughs> so we just return it back into the time it was taken. Made the moonstone? Yes. It's starting to glow now. It was all just a black, just an onyx orb. But now it's glowing. Let me jump in. Back to the future. It was going to be said eventually. Heck, I originally wanted to name the, ti the time machine 88 miles per hour. <laughs> Amazing! With this much energy, I can make a powerful weapon. Let's go back to my house now. Really? Tasha! I didn't know you had it in you. Oh, right. Your technology. Right. Mm. I'll modify the sunstone to extract its energy. Then we'll just vacuum pack it into a cartridge. And it's finished. Woo woo! Pew 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 pew! Hey, don't aim that at me! And so that gives us the wonder shot. Sometimes I amaze myself. Take a look, Tasha. I borrowed a bit of the sunstone to create something nifty. We got some sunshades. And I believe at this point... Oh, you're just in time. Got a Taban suit. It's my finest work. The ultimate defense for my daughter. Uh, anything else? Hey, Tasha! I'd like to see more of her. I've been making items she'd like. So now, we just got two new items for Tasha. We got the Wonder Shot. Damage can vary. Now ultimately, the Wonder Shot is basically probably the most powerful weapon in the game in potential. Actually, I probably could have come here and gotten this first at some point. But, yeah, now. Not thinking ahead. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Is that it? Nope. I need Rage Band. That's it. And then we'll give him back the Flashman. No, we want to give him the Neon Suit. I think I, everyone's pretty much outfitted with uh, Aeon gear. Yeah, that is better for sure. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yes. I want to give you back the power ring. Where are you? Good, good. Yep, all good. Uh, let's see if there's anything better than this. Yes, actually. Surprisingly. Alright. Okay. Okay. So yeah, uh... So the way the Wonder Shot works is... Uh, it, whenever you attack uh, with Tasha, it's going to have just a random mod uh, random damage output. It could be anything from the lowest possible output in the hundreds, you know, like 100 points of damage. Actually, even less than that. It could be like, uh, you know, 20 or something like that. Or it has the potential of doing the max amount of damage, which uh, is... I want to say 9,000? 9,999? It's, it's 
a very powerful weapon, but you don't know what, really what you're going to get. It's, it can really vary in that regard. It's kind of silly when you think about it, but... Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see here. So that's covered. Uh, we got to take care of this in another time. Uh, there is something to be done with over here. Well, random chance can be good. And it just it, it depends on how lucky you feel. Uh, nothing over here. There is some stuff here. Yes. A few things over here, in fact. Uh, why don't we get the ball rolling on a few things in these areas? Yes. It's off to the Middle Ages. 